tell you what, that's a lot of experience up there around Trevor Bain right now. Well, there's two guys right there on that outside line. I know Mark Martin, Martin. I don't know how many more Daytona 500 opportunities he's got left. But Tony Stewart's never won to 500. Mark's never won to 500. Of course, we know Trevor Bain could win his first 500 and his first 500 attempt. Tony Stewart's won the ball for the Indy 500. He's won the IRL championship. Twice the Sprint Cup championship. He's won everything at the end of the And coming through the middle, Kurt Busch. Now down the inside. Bobby Labonte in that 47 gave Trevor Bain a heck of a push. Now all they can do is try to hug the bottom of the racetrack and protect. I tell you, that 22 that was coming in with the head of steam. And Juan Pablo right on him. Looks like Tony and Mark might have a... I don't know if they got enough time to get back up there or not. I don't think they do. And Junior checked on the place to the field care center. They face the white flag when they come around. White the flag. The 53rd Daytona 500. Rookie Trevor Bain in his second wow. spot. and Juan Montoya, Carl Edwards in fifth. And we know Kurt Busch and Montoya is going to make a move. They need to win all they make. Awesome. They're going to make it to turn four. I mean, we Trevor keep hearing about I'm a setting duck when I'm leading this thing. So I guess no, that makes it 24. It's just, you know, it's just great. It's history. You know? We'll see here that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the bunch. Here goes Carl. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside. Wow, they're going so fast. They're going to go. Rouse Fenway. Oh! Looks like the Trevor Bain's going to win it. Here they go. Trevor Bain wins the 500. Wow. Trevor Bain got his first win at the Daytona 500. Wow. And, and, and you know, the Wood Brothers have no money. They're, they're like, yeah, they have nothing. That's great. That's great. 76 when Pearson won it. There's Leonard. Wow. And Delano, there are the Wood Brothers. Oh, my goodness. First win in 10 years from what is now a part-time team out of Stewart, Virginia, and Concord, North Carolina. The Wood Brothers return to victory lane at Daytona with 20-year-old Trevor Bain. That is a life-changing experience. Oh, no kidding. Even at 20 years old. Wow. And what a great, what a great well-spoken, Donnie Wingo. I love Donnie Wingo. He's one of those old school guys. Right this is all you right here. This is all you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is all you. Do, you. do your thing right here. Trevor Wingo. Come on out right there.
win for the Wood Brothers as Trevor Bain becomes the second youngest race winner it in Spring Cup Trevor. Series history. <laughs> Now the point him to victory lane. Oh, by the way, Carl Edwards finished second, David Gilliland third, Bobby Labonte fourth, and Kurt Busch rounded out the top five. Trevor Bain becomes the 35th different driver to win the Daytona 500. We have two laps to go. Here we go. It's been the Ford show on the top four. Brad Keselowski seems like he has something in mind, but it's falling back intentionally for this. He's trying to manipulate that lane so he can probably get the draft. Oh gosh. Well, there goes Brad! I told you he was going to mirror drive. And oh, they just whacked him. And he got one lap to go. What does what does Logano do to defend his position? Oh, Kyle Busch, Austin Dillon making a move on the inside. Oh man, Brad trying to get around Logano. Oh man, oh he's gonna turn him. Oh man, holy shit, holy fucking shit. Oh my god, you're a uh, caution? Wait, McDowell got the lead? Holy fucking shit! I hope Brad's okay. Who got the lead? McDowell? What? McDowell of all people? Holy fuck! Mick fucking goddamn Dowell. Did they? No! I never thought. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh man. Oh man. Wait. What? Wait. Wait. How do we know this? Where's the call? But did, did the caution light come out before? I don't But when did the light come out? Yeah. Chase Elliott. Yeah, well, yeah. Wow. Wow, that was a huge inferno. Oh, that would ruin Bubba's day. <laughs> I'll take a third. Podium's fine. I cannot stomach this at all. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, no, I, 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 
I can't stomach, I can't express how much he went from... Remember when he had that vicious flip at Texas during qualifying? Yeah. And now he went from this to now that in 2021. Unbelievable. I never would have predicted in 16 quintillion years that he would be the winner. He has had how many starts? 500 at this point? I don't know. <laughs> Damn, hot. Yeah. Trevor Bain won his first and only win 10 years ago. And now McDowell got his first win this time. Three hundred and fifty-seven starts Michael McDowell had, and now he's got a win. Let's listen to what he has to say. Thank God. So many years just grinding it out, hoping for an opportunity like this. We've got to thank Lutz, Charles Stop, Speedco, Bob Jenkins for giving me this opportunity. I'm so thankful. Such a great way to get a first victory. Did you want to find out if you I think this is the first uh, front row motorsports win since Pocono 2016 by Chris Butcher. And before that, it was David Reagan in 2013, I believe. Yeah, 2013 at Talladega by David Reagan. We'll have to see. Twenty eleven was Trevor Bain, two thousand one Michael Waltrip, and now we have McDowell here in twenty twenty one. And both Waltrip and McDowell are named Michael. Wow. Let's see. Chase had a move, but even if it was green flag, would he have won? McDowell. Maybe. Yeah, we got the the off. Look at that. Damn. That was horrid. Horrid. Wow, that's fucking awesome. Look at that. <laughs> 
Holy shit. That was one raging inferno. But hey, this was all going for the win. No one wanted to win this Daytona 500 more than those guys. And they gave it to Michael McDowell.